Narcan is not like every other rehab center. It's not like any other. Uh, we, we're here to, to get people drug free, and we know how to get people drug free, and we know our technology works. After the Narcan program, uh, I must say, whew, wow, I said, even the your relief can't even begin to describe, you know, what I feel. It's it's uh, it's amazing when you see the person who is just standing in front of you as a ghost, and then just day by day, month by month, the change is happening. He just arrived and said, "Hello, I am the mother of uh, Diego," you know. And uh, I said, "Okay, I am Diego, and I'm your son." And she cried uh, a lot. She didn't recognize me. Narcodon did save my life. So for that reason, at the end of my program, I decided to stay and to work for Narcodon. She wanted to tell everybody about it <laughs> because it like was the only thing that worked for me. And I always thought, like you know, if Narcodon could help me, it could help anyone. It's been like four years. I drug three and I'm working as a close supervisor at Narcon in Nepal. My experience and background with the gangsters, I am one hell of an ethics officer. Who's going to handle me but me? I get to experience over and over and over the joy of reuniting families and, and saving people's lives. I've been in many countries in Narcon and I could see the same dedicated people doing the same job. This is not a work, this is a mission. The mission to save people and mix. This is really the only program and the only organization on the planet right now that is actually changing the drug problem. That's a fact. The way to happiness is what it says. It is the way to happiness. It is the road to a better life. It's got so many pieces of tech. It's got study tech in there. It's got administrative technology. It's got how to, if a guy is depressed, there's one line that tells you how to stop being depressed. And so it's like your hip pocket um, philosophy. <laughs> it's just a fantastic tool to get everybody on the same page, you know, on the survival page. They turn that page three and it says, your survival is important to me. And they know that even if the world is a, a rough place to them, they'll know that somebody cares. They see it straight away as a lost treasure just found again, always. I had an opportunity to work in a prison system. Six months later, I am working on the street. This gentleman walks by and he goes, Hi, happiness man, how you doing? And I go, who are you? And he tells me who he is and that we met six months ago in prison, that he still has the book, he lives by those principles, and he is now working in drug and alcohol rehab. The way to happiness can rehabilitate a person and is the point of entrance in our world. The greatest thing that the way to happiness actually does is to create the ground where, you know, a new civilization can grow. This is the natural foundation of a society. And we are restoring that natural foundation with a book. Study technology has got the power to make the people to understand any subjects. Has got the power to show the people the truth. It's taken me forward, given me that push that I needed to continue with my life. Life doesn't stop. Everything stays moving and you understand the things that you work through and it stays there. So that learning is not just a 9 to 5 thing, but a 24 7, 365 kind of thing. It's like the course of a river. Over time you remove rock, you remove barriers, you get the logs out of the way, and then before you know it, it's this raging torrent of water going one way in one direction and that's what education should be. You have these tools that are so powerful, even the smallest handling it gets enormous results. You put in their hands the, this, this gold dust, this, this, this amazing uh, technology. And you just see the lights come on in a person. You see it when it clicks. To take a student with a first or second grade reading level when they're already 18 and 19 years old up to a point to where they can pass a UCLA test, write the essay, and actually get accepted by UCLA, that was most incredible. But this is not just your win or the win of the two, that it's the win for all society. You're creating a calmness on the planet and giving people technology that they're able to handle those rooms so that they are able to be able beings. When you think about what you're doing and what they're doing on the other coast, in the other state, on the other part of the planet, 
and you're all part of that momentum. I'm walking in the way to have the CIS. Fly school sticks at Prague in Czech Republic. Marathon in Denmark. In Hungary. Puebla, Mexico. Quebec, Canada. Africa. Thailand. Ukraine. Taiwan. New Zealand. Brazil. You know it. You can help and you can do something about it. That's the most rewarding thing there is. We're changing people's lives. And we don't take it for granted, not for one minute, what we can create in this culture. We're at the crust of the wave and we're making a difference. We're handling planet Earth.